Hi guys, hope you're all well. Um, I thought I'd do a video about Batman v Superman again because it's been filming for a couple of weeks now, I think. So I thought it'd be a good time to get a bit of a discussion going, you know, tell you what I think so far of the way things are going. Um, I think I've got quite a few concerns really at the moment. The way things are going. Uh, I mean, first off, info about Jesse Eisenberg's. Is that his name? I can't remember. His Lex Luthor apparently isn't going to be bald, but that's not to say that he won't be bald later on in the in the film. We'll have to we'll have to see. I mean that that's minimal concern. My main concern at the moment is the amount of fucking characters they're putting in it. I mean. The most recent one is Aquaman. Now, I don't know if it's even true or not. I believe it's been confirmed. And I think the the guy himself, Jason something, I forget his name, um, but he's actually been talking about it. So, it's, it's really, really starting to get me a little bit concerned about the amount of characters they're putting into this film. You know, I mean, what was it going to be? Probably two and a half hours tops. If you go any longer than that, people are going to complain that it's too long. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know, there's, there's just too much that's going to be going on in it. Um, I mean, at first it was just supposed to be the Superman sequel. Then, obviously, they announced Batman was going to be in it. Then Wonder Woman was in it. Now Aquaman's in it. Green Lantern, I don't know. That was rumoured a while back. I don't know if that's true or not. If it's true, let us know. Because I haven't a clue. But it's just, I don't know, it's getting crazy. Isn't it getting crazy to any of you guys? It's just, what are you trying to do? I mean, I know that Justice League is coming after this. But I really, really think they're going about this the wrong way. I mean, I love Marvel too. Even though I prefer DC. But you've got to give it to Marvel. I think they've handled the whole build-up to the Avengers better than the build-up to Justice League. Because each character was given their own movie. I mean, okay, Hulk, they kind of fucked about with. You know, first you had Eric Banner, then Ed Norton, and then Mark Ruffalo took over it. Um, but on the whole, you know, with all the characters, they all got their own individual movies to set it up. But the Nah, I think they're getting a bit too, what's the word, eager, I don't know, you know, the the very, I think they're looking at the whole thing with Marvel as a sprint, but in actual fact it's a marathon, so just tone it down a bit, take it easy, you know, it's not a fucking sprint, it's a marathon, just spread it out a bit, you know, give Aquaman his own movie, give Green Lantern another movie, because the other one was shite, uh, it's already been announced that Ben Affleck's going to get his own standalone Batman movie, which will be cool, as long as Ben, Aff ben Affleck is good, um, I hope he'll be good, but yeah, I mean, what do you guys think, you know, am I overreacting a bit, or do you all think that there's just going to be far too much going on in this, I mean, what are they going to do, just throw in these characters, you know, give them five minutes of screen time. Hi, I am Aquaman. Goodbye. You shall see me in the Justice League movie. I don't, I don't know what they're going to do. And I'm still not... Um, I don't know what's the word again. Taken with Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. I mean, yeah, she's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but she just doesn't look like Wonder Woman. Whether they'll dye her hair black, I don't know. But when I first saw pictures of her, I thought, uh, yeah, she's very beautiful, very beautiful. But is she Wonder Woman? I don't, I don't know. But that's just my opinion, you know. So I do these kind of videos, it's just to get an argument going or an opinion going, you know, see what you guys think, but nah, on the whole I think there's just going to be far too much going on in this, because um, if you don't give the characters enough 
screen time, people are going to be complaining about that. But then if you do give them plenty of screen time, the movie's going to be three hours long or even longer than that. So now I just wonder what they're doing with this at the moment. It should have just been Batman and Superman, I think. Wonder Woman, yeah, okay. Throw her in there. But other than that, they should have just kept it at that. But no, it's getting a bit crazy. But I'm no, I'm no director, I'm no writer. I don't know, I'll leave it in their hands. But I don't know. I do know that if Chris Nolan was doing this, it wouldn't be as crowded, let's say. So yeah, we'll have to see, we'll have to wait until um, 2016 to see what really happens, but nah, I'm a little bit concerned, but we'll see. There you go guys, anyway, what do you all think? Do you think it's uh, crowded or do you think I'm overreacting a bit? Let us know. Hope you liked the video and I'll probably do another one ASAP. So, hope you like it. See you everyone.